imaging tests when you work these patients up prior to treatment, almost everybody gets a CAT scan because you want to look in the parts of the body most likely to have spread of tumor. That'd be your lungs, liver, bones, etc. You want to find out where the tumor is gone because if it's shrinking, you want to know where it's shrinking from. Obviously, if it's growing, you're going to want to know where it's growing. So we scan everybody um, basically from top of the chest down to the bottom of the pelvis, which is where your visceral organs are. And we'll, in the beginning, do an MRI scan of the brain, which will give a high resolution image of the brain. Because like breast cancer and lung cancer, melanoma is astonishingly likely to develop, those patients are astonishingly likely to develop brain metastases. So that's a real problem. So we are vigilant. Every three months, they get a new set of scans. After the first couple of MRIs, if they're negative, we'll quit getting MRIs, but only get them for symptoms. Headache, nausea, vomiting, uh, inability to coordinate hand-eye motion. Those are the kinds of things that we would worry about. 